Now, uh, so just first question is, have any of you been asked lately, what does the word gospel mean? Anybody asked, been asked that lately? Have you been asked it? Uh, yes. Well, I'm going to ask you right now, what does the word gospel mean? Good news. Good news. Yay. I got the A-team up here. Well, Pastor Jonathan just read the gospel for today, and it's a short one. And in fact, if you were trying to hold a sneeze, you, you might have have missed the whole thing. So I'm going to say it one more time because there's one word in this gospel that I really want you to, to listen for and you may not know the meaning of it. I know that you know the meaning of the word gospel, but there's one word in there that you might not know the meaning of. And maybe you do. The word is yoke, okay? So here's our lesson again. Jesus spoke to the crowd saying, come to me all you who are struggling and hard and carrying heavy loads and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble, and you will find rest for yourselves. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Well, in order to understand what Jesus is talking about here, we have to understand the, that one word, don't we? And that one word is yoke. Yoke, right? It's spelled Y O. K-E. It's not to be confused with another word that sounds almost like it, yoke, Y-O-L-K. Because if Jesus was talking about yoke, then he would be telling us to put an egg on our head or something. And that's not what Jesus is saying here. No, it's, that's not the kind of yoke. Now, yeah, what the, kind of, the kind of yoke that Jesus is talking about looks like this. And it's not something that maybe you see very often. Maybe you've seen some in pictures, and I've got some more pictures to show you what yoke looks like when it's on an animal, okay? And here's one picture, and this is on farms. There's two oxen here, or cattle, and they are carrying something. Here's another one here that shows the cattle pulling something, and, there's, and here's a... a th a third one to look at so we can look at all of these when we're talking about, about yoke. Now, I want to ask a question. When you look at these pictures with the, the cattle or the oxen with that yoke on them, I want to, here's the question. Do you think it would be harder or easier if there was only one cattle and one yoke? Would it be harder to carry or would it be easier if you had two together? You think... It'd be, two would be easier, right? So you're not doing the whole thing. Wouldn't be everything you're carrying all by yourself. It'd be easier if there was, there was two. So, so let's think about that. When something seems really hard, or when it's hard to do something alone or, or by yourself, or you feel like you're carrying a very heavy burden, or you feel like you just can't carry something alone... Do you believe Jesus can help you? Yes, we believe that, don't we? Maybe, maybe when Jesus helps us, then it's lighter. So if you looked at our bulletin cover this morning, there's a picture of, this is Jesus right here, and you see what they're, what's over them? It's a yoke, exactly right. Now, if you came in to worship this morning and you saw that picture, you might wonder, what are they carrying that thing for? But it goes back to when there were yokes that were on cattle and used Jesus is using that as, as an example to, to show that when he is helping, everything gets easier. So when you understand this and you're beginning to understand what it means when Jesus says, come to me, all of you who are struggling and carrying heavy burdens and I will give you rest. So that is what Jesus is saying to them. I will help you. And that's why it is good news. And good news, the other side of good news is, what does good news mean? What does gospel mean? Okay, so what does good news mean? Gospel, that's exactly right. When Jesus shares his yoke with you, Jesus does all the hardest work. All you have to do is just let Jesus help. And that's good news too, because Jesus is here to help. Let's pray. We pray after me? Dear Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for helping us with everything that feels hard or heavy. Help us always believe in you. 
Give us joy and give us rest. Amen. All right, thank you. You were great today. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.